Hey YouTube, so um, I just got out of the shower and my hair is, I let it air dry most of the way um, because I just think it's better for your hair and I just have my hair, I think it's so funny when I get out of the shower because it's just curled in like one piece and I wish it would stay that way but I think it's also extremely curly. Um, I got a tutorial on how my natural hair looks. Um, as you guys can see right there, that is my natural color. Um, I did that, I didn't dye my hair today just so I could show you guys that because a lot of you guys are like, what's your natural color? Well, um, my natural color is bright blonde. Okay, I look like I have, like, black on the side, but I don't, I don't know why I just said that. Um, I, my natural color is actually bright blonde. Um, I will be right back because I'm going to be turning it on light because I look really weird. Whoops, sorry you guys. Okay, I feel so dumb. I should just have, like, a little in the middle. I just turned the lights off on you guys. How nice my other side kind of does it anyway. But as I get older, it gets brown, so I keep it blonde. So, if you guys have, I just got out of the shower, obviously, so if you guys have any excess makeup, just take your favorite makeup remover and make it really white, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm using just the icings, and the icing by my plate, but in my mall, of course. So now I have to drive a half hour just to get my favorite makeup remover. Um, but now I'm just using the L'Oreal or the Neutrogena one that my mom uses. Um, the wipes, but for my eyes. Um, I actually have four bottles of these icing things. So if I'm like, oh, I'm not driving a half hour just to go get a bottle of makeup remover. Okay, I got a little spray out of it. Five point four five ounces. That's so pretty good. Okay, so now that you have that done, I'm gonna just take my corrective for third coat solution. I need to wash my face and turn on just a little bit on my chin and then a little on the nose, just because those are the worst areas. Now this stuff sinks into your skin really easily and really fast. So one thing about having really nice moisturized skin is that your makeup doesn't so much make. So for foundation, I have three choices about I'll be using two of them. First choice is for the um, like beginning of summer when my face is a little more yellow and not so red. Um, and that is the Dream Liquid Mousse in Light 5. As you can tell, it has a lot of, I don't know if you can tell, it looks gold, like golden undertones, but it has a lot of like pink, rosy undertones almost. It looks like, hold on, see if I can get it. No, but it has like pink, goldy undertones. Like, I'll compare. No, I'm not going to compare. But, um, and my face is kind of pinky, so I don't really want to use pink to make it look more pink. So my choice foundation is my Fit Me 220. Now, this is my summer, like, end of summer foundation when I'm really dark. Now it's the end of summer, and I haven't been in sun forever. It's not, um, like, that dark. So, it's... Uh, I'm not that dark. Why did I say it's not that dark? I'm not that dark. So I mix it with my um, Creamy Natural by CoverGirl. Mix them. Perfect shade. So, we're going to start off with that. It's a personal personal preference if you want to do this. Um, I don't use too much. I don't wear this on a daily basis. Right now, I have three counts and um, I don't know if you guys watched my last videos, but I said I'm going to school with Glay. Um, and we have the talent show coming up. So I'm just putting some of this. this ah, no, go over there. I don't want you over here. I want you over there. Okay, and um, I'm going to look good because I'm going to uh, like, introduce the accent. Oh my gosh, I just broke my sponge. I feel dumb there. Now I don't have my little drop. I gotta get new ones. Anyway, okay, so I just kind of mix them together with my finger. And yes, my hands are clean. And just kind of mix it in. Now you can see it turns like a creamier, like lighter color. And I just take it, and I know this isn't real sanitary, but I'm not. I'm applying it with this, but I'm not blending it out with this. I'm not trying to put these off. I'm like so sorry if I gave that impression. Oops. Okay. Then I kind of dot it, and then I just kind of scoop it into my hand or into the sponge. And then just kind of start blending um, out. This looks really natural. Um, if you were just a 220, I don't like how in the commercials, I know none of the commercials are well, but the Proactive actually really does work, which was really surprised. I'm like, oh, it's just another infomercial. It's not going to work. It really does work. Um, not trying to, I'm not getting paid to say that, but I really do like it. So, as you guys can tell, it makes, makes me look a little pale. So, I leave a little bit of darker stuff on the outer side to kind of go over my face with and more on my T-zone area 
Um, but I don't, I'm not as pale. I do promise that. Um, it's just because it's early in the morning. And um, a lot of you guys are already kind of so awake in the morning. It's because I get up at 5 and take a shower. And then I take like a half hour shower. So I'm up to like 5 30. And then I, eat, I drink some coffee sometimes. Not all the time. I always put some on my lips. I don't know why. But I use the opposite side for my lip because I just think that's kind of weird. And I put them under my eyes. Now for concealer, if you guys see me reaching up here, like my face stuff is up here, I'm using my MAC. My MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20 for under eyes and a little bit of blemishes that I have in the chin. Now I'm only putting that on the inner part because it's really nice. You can blend it out, but we're using a different concealer too, only on the under eyes. Okay, so I blend it out, and then I just take my sponge and just kind of blend it out with that, so the foundation kind of blends it out, too. And I blend this out. It's not too creamy, and there's my makeup bag, because I think it's sparkly. This is my Fit Me 25 concealer, which I think matches amazingly to the eye. I like this ring amazingly. And then if you have a little teeny bit breakout that it's really difficult to hide with just that one concealer, if I have a few, um, you put some on that. It's not so big of a deal. I just kind of need a little coverage, more coverage. Like that foundation, neither of those foundations are really high coverage. They're really not. They're like light to medium, maybe not even medium. Um, and plus, I'm doing a little extra bit today because today lunch. Um, Tanner brother, my boyfriend, T Tanner, we're like really good friends, but like, we're almost boyfriend and girlfriend, so we kind of like text each other and stuff like that, but whatever. So for face powder, I'm using my Dream Matte Powder in Sand. It's pretty light, but this foundation looks a little dark today, so I'm just using this one. And, um, I just got over, but I don't really put a lot on my cheeks. I'm not really putting on my cheeks, I'm just kind of blending and whatever was left over so leave your cheeks like right here blank so then for blush i use a cream blush i think it looks a lot more natural and even i'm using the love and lips and cheeks and fuchsia poodle i only use this for my cheeks not my lips because i use a brush and it kind of gets all weird i use the bare minerals flawless face brush dab it in there flawless tab you can't really tap off but if you want to like dab on your hands so it's not so much but i do that after smile and dab right on the apples. Can't really tell, but this is, um, you can kind of tell. It's a really nice natural color. Um, it's hot pink, but I told you guys to leave your cheeks alone for one reason. One, because we're using a cream blush. And I'm putting a cream blush over powder. And if you guys have a lighter skin tone like me, but not too light, I'm just kind of blending this out now. Just kind of blend it out. I do kind of look like a rag doll right now because I have just, just on the apples. But, find it okay I can't find my brush so I'm just gonna wipe this one off like I just said you can just like blot it off and I'm black my hands like really pink can you just like see that and so it's kind of pretty much wiped off and I just kind of blend it out in circles I kind of stay away from here because you don't want it to go too far into the nose because then it will really look unnatural but I'm just kind of blending it back and then I take my fingers and just kind of blend that out so it's not so dewy but it's not so cakey so you can see I got a little powder there with a little bit of um, blush. I don't know if you guys can tell. I look like flawless. And then I set that. So I don't like hot pink blush. I like more natural. This looks like a more of a, like a wine, coral, a coral wine. That's how I'm going to explain it, a coral wine. And my eyes are really simple. So I take a lot of time on my face in the morning. So for my eyes, I just prime them with my e.l.f. eyelid primer. Um, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm priming it with a white pencil. This is just a color icon wet and wild one. Don't tug too much on your eyes. I know you're not supposed to. And I apply this all over my lid. And then right under the brow bone and on the brow bone. All over the lid. The crease. Pretty much everywhere you're going to put on shadow. But I might not be putting a highlight because of how well this highlights. So you can tell I have a little more on that. So I'll add a little more. Okay. So then just kind of blend that out a little nice and lightly. Don't blend too much. And then I'm going to take my trio called I'm Getting Sunburned. And I'm going to take this gold color right here, the first one. I'll take an eyeshadow brush from Love and Beauty. This is really simple. 
The only difficult part, I'm only I'm applying this to my whole lid, not my like creamy side corner, just to my lid. Which I really like this because it almost looks like I put more primer on the outer lid, so it almost looks like you have two different colors on. It looks like you have otherwise a nice light lid where you didn't put too much of that liner. And then as you go out, you can tell it kind of looks like a good start. But I'm promising only dipping it in one color, tapping it off, and applying. Make sure you really get it nice to the lashes. I'm really going to hit pan on this color pretty soon. I've gotten pretty deep, but I go in the middle, so I have quite a bit of the size left. I really like this color. It's, it reminds me of... Um, what color is that my rack? Um... No, not that. Allison's watching me do this. She's holding up little post-it notes with words because I said she can't talk in this. Okay, so like that. And then for like your lash line, take the brown wire that glows that. <laughs> take the brown in that palette, the middle color. Take the liner brush, tap it on there. Tap off excess really well. And then just apply right to the lash line. Don't wing it out yet. You're a little far. Allison's doing the makeup too. You guys want to know? She says hi. Turn off a little top. So I just wing it out like a tad, like not even that much, like just a little bit. But I also like to bring it like almost up, and then take the shader brush. And it just kind of blends just that corner really quick. Blend it in, and then dab in the upper brown and the brown, not the other brown, but the other way. And then on this one, I'm really fast. I'm not that neat with shadow lining my eyes because it's not like, like important. It does fade throughout the day. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't stay perfect. But for that sake, and then I'm just going to take a blending brush and just kind of blend that brown out just a little bit so it's nice. Not too winged and not. So for my brows, I don't fill them in or anything. For the highlight, I am going to be using the pink or purpley color in the shadow but I'm only dabbing it on the like, lightest part because it's a piece and barely putting any on like literally I'm barely dabbing it's just a really nice highlight color so I don't wear any shadow or liner on the bottom so for mascara I'm using my Love and Beauty lengthening one in black only on the outer part and then for my other mascara I'm using CoverGirl's Lash Black Volume in very black I like black lashes if you guys can't tell. This really volumizes. And since I'm not wearing liner today, I will put some on the lowers. I normally always put it on the lowers, but today I feel especially I need to for lips. I leave it pretty natural. Um, I do apply my e.l.f. liquid, Luscious Liquid Lipstick in Pink Lemonade. It's really natural. It adds a little teeny bit of splash of color. It's not as pink as it's showing up. Another one is the Jordana lipstick in Orasma. It's a really pretty pink. But you gotta put like a clear gloss to calm it down or like a, like a nude gloss. So those are the eyes. Um, it's really simple. The only part that takes a while is the face, but it doesn't, I love how it looks. And my hair, I would do a tutorial, but I'm just going to let it pretty much air dry. I'm going to brush it out, comb it out and set. Um, blow dry it, just the top, I don't blow dry my ends because that's like really bad for your hair. You need to blow dry it because it's such dry air. And then um, I'll straighten it because it is wavy and curly. And then I can't wait for after school because Tanner's coming over and we're going to go swimming. So, yeah, it's really hot here now. Like, I don't know what happened, but it's got really hot. So, thanks for watching. Look my nose ring. It was so pretty. But then also, another highlight color that I'm going to use, just because I saw it sitting there, is my Love and Beauty one. And this is almost it's pretty much an exact dupe for Boulay by MAC. It's such a pretty high. It gives a nice arched brow effect, which I love. Okay. So, I'm pretty much done. You guys can just use this quad. Just use all these colors, except for I don't like the crease color, and the gold's not that pink. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm just going to blabber on, and I'm going to go do my hair and get dressed. Alright, love you guys. Bye.